Feud. And today we are honoring the show Ruby. What? So let me introduce our players. Okay, first, we're going to bring up our Ruby cosplayers. Hey! Ruby cosplayers. Here we go. They're like, what? Huh? <laughs> They're coming. Ooh, get ready for this. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stage. Welcome to Fandom Feud. And without further ado, we wouldn't have our cosplayers without our cast of Ruby coming on up. show called A Family Feud. It is not unlike that, except our twist is our wonderful players today. First, I'll introduce myself. My name is Lisa Correo. I'm one of the stand-up comedians at the con this weekend. Maybe some of you have seen one of the shows. If not, you can catch uh, one of the shows tonight or tomorrow. And let's introduce our players. So we're going to go right down the line, and we're going to go, we're going to start with our Ruby voice act and start on one and if we just introduce yourself and say hello to the crowd of course hi everybody um, I'm Lindsay Jones and I play the voice of Ruby Rose so hi hi everybody <laughs> hello my name is Kara Everly and I voice Wai <laughs> Schnee yes. oh, hello I'm Aaron Zek and I voice Blake Belladonna Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Barbara Dunkelman, part of the winning team over here. Uh, and I voice Ying Xiao Long. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Hell yes. Hell yes. Also, I'm just kidding. They're totally going to beat us. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Well, we won't know uh, for a bit. We shall see. Well, we shall see. So let's introduce now our amazing Ruby cosplayers. Hello. Hi, guys. My name is Morgan. I go by Morgan LaFoy online, and I want you to know that was fake news. We are going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Calling you out will. the you fake will. news. Why stop? I mean, I feel like I'm okay with any of us winning. I love you guys, uh, <laughs> but I'm going to fight. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm Jean, and I go by Jean11 one one on the internet, and uh, just by Jean, if you see me here, and uh, we're going to try our best to win this. So. Yes. yes. Love it. Love it. Hi, I'm Oddfell, and I go by Oddfell Online. Uh, and yeah, team cosplay. <laughs> let's, let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Faye. I go by Faye Crafts Online. And you know, I think that I'm not trying to say anything, but I think that we're going to win. But you know, <laughs> don't let anyone else hear that, though. <laughs> Well, we shall see, we shall see. Well, so, you already lose points for not sitting in the right I, order, so. I, ooh! Okay, dang. well, we sat down first, so. <laughs> oh, that's fair, that's okay. fair. <laughs> I, I, let's keep this spirit going with the game. Okay, so first we are going to play a head-to-head, -head, so let me bring up Barbara and Morgan first, up to our buzzer. Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> Morgan said, oh, no. Okay, no. now. Wait, is that Yang versus Yang? <laughs> Listen now, now, a, a, as in everything in life, timing is everything. So wait for me to read the whole question before you buzz in. Otherwise, I'm going to stop reading the question. You won't hear the whole thing. So you got to be careful with that. Okay? But you want to buzz first, too. So this is like, you just got to be ready. All right, here we go. Question number one. Name an animal that starts with the letter R. <laughs> I actually have to come over to see. And oh, it looks like you've buzzed in first. Barbara, go for it. Rat. Ooh, a rat. We can't okay. use fictional animals, Barbara. <laughs> All right, let's see if it's on our board. Survey says rats. Yes, it is our number four answer. Nine people on the survey said rats. But 
guess what, Morgan? There are higher answers up there. You've got a chance at this. What do you think's higher than rats? You can do this. I'm going to go with rabbit. Going with rabbit. All right. Let's see if it's on the board. Show me rabbit. It's a bold choice. Yeah! It is the number one answer. 36 people said it. Now, Morgan, this means you have a chance to play this board. Your team can play this board. Or perhaps a strategic choice. If you think you can't clear the board, you can choose to pass this along to the voice actors. Uh -huh. What do you think? I'm nah, I'll go in one in my mind right now. So no, play or pass. Is this we're we're, we're going to play. Oh, they're going to play. They're going to play the board now. What, what you all need to be doing while they're playing is thinking of these answers. Because if they get three strikes, you have a chance to steal. OK, so here we go. We're going to go down the line. Jean, you're next. Jean, name an animal that starts with the letter R. I'm going to go for it. Oh, Rhino. Going with rhino, that is a bold choice. Now, did the people surveyed agree? Show me rhino. Yes! That is our number two answer for 34 <laughs> points. Look at us going down the line. Oddfell. I said rhino too. I said rhino. The one I brain cell, man. Cheering. We're connected. Oh, they are connected. You want to know something? Oh, the, we, we need another connection, possibly, because we yeah. still have two more answers up here, but we have no strikes yet, so there's no pressure. Odd fell. Name an animal that starts with the letter R. Okay, actually, no discussion on this. No discussion on this. Odd fell only. I'm going to go with raccoon. Oh, my God. Going with raccoon. Let's see if the survey agrees. Show me raccoon. for 18 points. Good. Faye, there's one more on the board to finish this out. Can you clear this board? Name an animal that starts with the letter R. I don't know more animals, bro. That's it. Same. I'm like, and again, there's no discussion amongst your team. This is only Faye up at bat. Stop. This dare. <laughs> Would you believe me if I say I have a minor in biology? Honestly, this is the hard part now. We've, we've gotten the, the popular ones. This is the fifth one. You know, the last one's always the hardest. In the meantime, the cast of Ruby is thinking, discussing what their possible steal answer might have to be if they can't clear this board. All right, Faye, pressure's on. It's time. Oh, my God. A reticulated python. Wait, what? <laughs> I hope well, you guys are ready. Yes. <laughs> 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 a reticulated yeah. python. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. A reticulated <laughs> python. Yes. Yes. Oh, it is our first strike. Oh. Don't worry, you get up to three oh, strikes. I can't imagine. That's crazy. It wouldn't be on the board. Reticulated <laughs> python starts with R. You're not wrong. Right. Like, that's correct. It's a very intelligent answer. But it's a very intelligent answer. Of course, it comes down to the people we surveyed. So if they didn't say it, it's not up there. We're going back to Morgan. We've got one strike so far. Morgan, name an animal that starts with the letter R. There it is. We're good. Is that your final answer? <laughs> That's another game show. What if we don't know, know any more animals that start with R? I didn't think this through. <laughs> Sam. Um, uh, <laughs> you are not the father. <laughs> I I'm, I'm drawing a blank. A ralligator. A ralligator. <laughs> Listen, a, a ralligator definitely starts with R. Show me ralligator. Oh. Oh, no, we're screwed. A surprise that ralligator's uh, not up there. Gene, I, I hate to tell you this, Gene. The pressure is on. Now, this is what we call the hot seat because you've got two strikes. They picked the wrong person from the last one. 
Like, English is not even my first language. We're screwed. <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, maybe the people surveyed didn't speak English either. Just go with whatever starts with R that's an animal. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Robert De Niro. <laughs> yeah, no, we're, I'm going to, I'm going to have to pass. I literally, no, we're, we're, we're passing, we're passing. That means with a pass, that means a third strike. Guess what? Ruby uh, voice actors, you all have a few seconds to discuss. I think we, I, oh, come on. All right. We're going to go with rattlesnake. Ooh. Going with rattlesnake, it's definitely an animal, and it definitely starts with R. Did the survey Come on, agree? Show me rattlesnake. Too specific. Yes. Oh, that means you guys what? get the points. Congratulations, Wait, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what that final answer is. Is it Roadrunner? No. Roadrunner. <laughs> That's what Kara said. It's our fault. Kara said Roadrunner. We, we went with Rattlesnake. Really? Oh my gosh. Kara said Roadrunner. You know, that's the name of the game. Rattlesnake is such a great answer, right? But it goes down to what the surveyed people said. And who the heck even answers surveys, right? Psychopaths. I watch family do it every day. Right? And like normal people never answer surveys. Like, have you ever answered a survey in your life? No. Someone comes up to you with a clipboard, you're like, no, thank you. I'm busy. Unless you're a psycho. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how the game is played. So we are moving on to question number two. That means, Jean, you are up at bat. And Aaron, come on up. We have another head-to-head. Deep on us. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm so sorry. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, uh, to, to the producers backstage, with the points went on the wrong side. Oh, no. Oh, no. All good, all good. All right, they're fixing it. Don't worry. I, the audience, they, they're on top of this, all right? <laughs> all right, no fooling around back there. Pay attention. You're drunk. Get it together. All right. No, they're not drunk. OK. All right, here we go. Get ready for the buzzer. The timing is so important here. Question number two. What's happening? What in the world oh my God. has oh happened? My God. Uh, someone got a little excited backstage and uh, <laughs> just quit humping the buzzer back there. It's baby making music. Hang on. Hang on. Can we get an ear horn? Yes. All right. <laughs> Man, everyone's got that drunkle, <laughs> drunk uncle. <laughs> yes, it's a W. <laughs> All right. Someone found my body bottle. <laughs> okay, the pulse is out of control here. <laughs> All right, don't don't panic. All right. Oh no. <laughs> We're all friends here. Question number. Two. <laughs> Name a state. Oh no. Where? <laughs> we, you might want to hear the rest of this question. Name a state where 100 degrees temperatures are common. Aaron's egg. What is <laughs> happening? Swear to God. Wait, Aaron's egg. I swear to God. Stop it <laughs> That was my bad, because I think it had to be reset. OK. Oh, no, it looks like you buzzed in first, Gene. All right, name a state. 100, 10, 10. Did you hear Wait. When it was, I did it. I was, it was turning green on my end. It was malfunctioning. It's okay. It could, it could possibly be rigged. I, I, I don't make these buzzers. All right, oh, all right. You pass just out of G. Sure. Already. Honest. I know. All right, all right, all right Gene. I know. It's California State? Sorry. Ca it's California State. I'm going to. Are you asking me or is that your answer? California. Yes. <laughs> I hope it's a state. All right, listen, California is a state. Oh, it is. 
So we've passed the first part of this. <laughs> Show me California. International cosplayer. It's a number three answer. Hey, uh, <laughs> but wait, don't leave yet. There's two higher answers. Okay. This is where sometimes it's not it's not a bad thing to actually not win the buzzer because you have a little more time to think, and there are higher answers. Arizona. Arizona. Okay, that's a great answer. But does the survey agree? Show me Arizona. or play? I'm going to play, oh my gosh, very bold. So, all right, cosplayers, that means you all just think of hot states, okay? Or, or places that people on a survey might think is a hot state. Just saying. Okay, You're gonna, like, is it my care. turn yet? Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm excited. Texas! Woo! We're going with Texas. It is a state. It is hot. Show me Texas. That is outrageous. Who are you asking these questions uh, to? Like, uh, one hundred percent insane people. I'm on your side. For it's a hundred degrees right now in Austin. Currently, currently. California is almost never a hundred degrees. Well, uh, you know, the strategy of this game <laughs> is definitely to get into the minds of people who don't know a lot of things. <laughs> So. Where, wait, question. Where was this survey taken? That will put into account a lot. In of elementary uh, school, actually. I think Steve Harvey does these himself. Uh, <laughs> potentially. Okay, the sun. The next guess is the sun. The sun. The sun. All, right, all right, Lindsay, Lindsay we, we are moving on to you. We're looking for a state where 100 degree temperatures are common. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, say that one. Oh, but don't, you're not allowed to discuss for for this part. Only, only for a steal. So. Head down. All right. Yeah, going with the answers delegated earlier. <clears throat> Nevada. All right. Nevada. Going with Nevada, ladies and gentlemen. Nevada. Steve Harvey get it. For sure is a hot, hot state. Show me Nevada. I would never have said. Oh my God. This is fake. Maybe they they surveyed people. Celsius. I don't know what's happening. I would put money like, on like Mexico showing up on. there. I know. Yes. I know. So it's like a You're not wrong. You're not necessarily wrong there. Okay. <laughs> this is. I agree. This is outrageous. But this is the name of the game. Darn it. <laughs> Barbara. Hello. Hi. A state. I feel like non-Americans might have taken this survey and maybe don't know these states. So I'm going to go with maybe something in the mind of a non-American and say Florida. Okay. Here, and I'll tell you something. I live in Florida and it never gets to 100 degrees. It does not. But that, however, <laughs> however, show me Florida. Been 100 degrees. This However, I'm telling you, this is Hispanic people. <laughs> if you, if you've ever watched the show Family Feud, the only thing I'll say about, it, first of all, I love it. Second of all, it ain't Jeopardy. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. All right. All right. So it's a totally different game here. But look at that. You did it, right? Number one answer. So now we're getting into the minds a little bit. Aaron, a state. <laughs> where people think it reaches 100 degrees. Yeah, a state where Europeans think it's hot. Um, well, that's what we were doing. Um, fridge. Uh, I can't, I wasn't sure if this was PG or PG-13. Oh, biscuits. Okay. Um, yeah. New Mexico? Oh, damn it. All right, let's see, let's see. Show me New Mexico. Kara, you're up again. And we've got three more. In 
insane. Well, pure, pure insanity. I'm just going, uh, this is, oh, this is a bit hard. But I'm going to go with Hawaii. Oh. All right. Now, here's the thing. I don't know if any of y'all have been to Hawaii. It does not. It's amazing. No way. No way. It's beautiful. No way. No way. 100 degrees. No way. No, no way. However, no. we've all witnessed no. what's been happening. Show me Hawaii. Yes. Of course. <laughs> no. There's another side. I only saw five. There's another side, yeah. Five people think that Hawaii gets 100 degrees. Okay. We're going down the line, Lindsay. You're up again. We've got two more. I'm trying to think close to that. So we're going with Florida. How much humidity and people feeling, feeling the humidity and confusing it with heat. It's not the same thing. I'm going to try for Louisiana here, okay? I've had some hot New Orleans nights. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, yeah, I, well, I mean, if Texas wasn't on there, right? If right, Texas right. isn't on there, then this is the wild, wild west right now. We don't know what the heck's up there. All right, show me, Louisiana. Uh, Ew, no, what that means you all have a chance to steal. You can discuss now. Put the brains together. You've got this. You've got this. Probably don't. Say Alaska. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I've heard it gets pretty toasty up there. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's a little warm. Well, we're depends gonna... what you have your heat set at, really. <laughs> Could be anything. So we're going to go out on a limb here. We're going to go with Georgia. Hot Lana. I mean, they maybe. do call Atlanta Hot Lana for yeah. sure. That's a thing. Could be it. Show me for the steal, yep. Georgia. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ruby uh, voice actors getting the points, which is great. You needed to get up here. What are the other ones? I just want to know what's up there. I know. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna find out right now. All right, let's see the other answers. We've got. Uh, Utah, which I just heard someone yell out. Yeah, and then the number seven. New York. Mississippi. What? <laughs> Insane. That's a game, that's a game. I, I mean, you know, make sure this is properly reset this time. All right, we're doing our next head-to-head -head for question number three. We've got Oddfell and Kara up at bat. All right, here we go. All right. Reset. I, I double reset it to make go, sure. Yeah. Good, thanks. All Calm right. Down. All right. Here we go. Name a reason the bride and groom might leave the reception early. Kara. Oh, okay. Okay. Go for it. To eat it. Because they have had a fight. That's a good one. That's a good one. Because they are arguing. Yeah. They're for sure arguing. <laughs> there you go. That's definitely a fight. Okay, but that's the number five answer. So that means there's four higher answers. And if you can guess one of them, then you'll have control of the board. So again, name a reason the bride and groom might leave the reception early. Not allowed to confer on this. Okay, just get in the mic. It's okay. Say wedding crashers? Um, because of wedding answer? crashers, okay? Let's see. We don't know what the survey people said, right? Because of wedding crashers. Oh, it's not up there, unfortunately. Well, that means you have a chance you can play. Okay. I didn't even have to. No question they are playing this board very confidently. Lindsay, name a reason the bride and groom might leave the reception early. Sexual intercourse. Oh, dang. Hey, you know, it's all about what the survey said. Show me intercourse. Boning. A little privacy. And that can be interpreted so many ways. Making whoopee. Making whoopee. 
back down to Barbara. Barbara, name a reason the bride and groom might leave the reception early. Uh, they had too much to drink. Ooh, they had too much to drink, falling down. Show me too much to drink. Yes! Very nice. Even worded it exactly how they have it up there. Very I'm nice. I'm going to be the next ex. Wait. Have confidence. Maybe. Oh, yeah. No, that would be like false. Um. <laughs> like objects. Wow. I said that already. Confidence, my love. You got the, think of like, you know, ink blots. They tell you like, just say the first thing that pops into your I'm head. I'm trying to think of like any weddings that I've been to, mm -hmm. but I only go to weddings of people who love each other. <laughs> Okay, anyway, okay, fridge, um, bedtime. <laughs> right? It's bedtime. It's like, you guys can party. We're tired, okay? That makes total sense to me. Did the people who were surveyed agree? Show me. It's past their bedtime. Yes! You see, you must have confidence in yourselves. You never know down the line once again. Oh, Kara, once again, same question. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> um, because they, um, that, or, I don't know which one that one or the other one that I'm thinking. Oh. Or because they took, they have, because they have a flight. Oh. That is so specific. Uh, for? Yeah. For because. Fly for what? Fly for honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> because they have to catch the flight for the honeymoon. Yeah! Nice job. That is what we call a clean sweep. Killing it. Getting all of the points. Nice job. Hey, see that? Thank you. You know, you're confident. Confidence. confidence. All right. Thanks, Kara. <laughs> Re re double, triple reset on this buzzer. All right, we're making sure. All right, bringing up. Oh yeah, y'all ready already? All right. No, we're, yeah, we're, we're good. I, I reset it. All right, we've got Lindsay and we've got Faye. All right, they oh, look, they are ready. They're like warming up their their fingers. Yeah, we're ready. Yeah. All right. Well, first of all, let's take a moment to just look at these points here. All right. We've got our voice actors with a no. significant lead. They can come back. They can come back. However, with this next question, our next and final question. Final? This is too fun. This is so fun, right? All right. Here we go. We, this is, we're lined up. Unless there's a tie, this is our last question. Ready? Here we go. <laughs> what accent might an American pretend to have in order to sound sexier? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Breaking the buzzer. Was it, was it, what? Oh, no. <laughs> Lindsay, you got it first, though. All right. British. British. OK. I heard British. Show me British. It is a number two answer. It was very sexy the way you said it. Faye, you have a chance to guess the higher one. I'm going to go with French. French. Okay. Very sexy. We oui, we oui. Show me French. The number one answer. Now you have a chance to play this board or perhaps a strategic move to pass it along if you think you can't clear it off. We got this, bro. We got this, bro. Gonna play. All right, cosplayers gonna play. So in the meantime, you all should be thinking about what you could possibly think of in case you get a chance to steal. So we're back at Morgan. Morgan, what accent might an American pretend to have in order to sound sexier? I'm gonna say Spanish. Ooh, yes, Spanish is very sexy. Do the people who were surveyed agree? Show me Spanish. Okay. Yes, the number four answer. Eight people said it. You took Jean Am, Jean's answer though, for I know, sure. I know. <laughs> How could she be dreaming like this? Right? Like, I'm, still in. I'm gonna go with. My answer is 
Australian. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Americans love Outback Steakhouse, and there's a reason. <laughs> it's not just a bloomin' onion. Come on, show me. Australian. It's the number five answer. Three people agreed. Only three? What? Okay. It's okay. It's in it. It's in there. It's there. Oddfell, you're up. Name an accent Americans might just try on for size to sound sexier. Yeah, that was a good one. I'm going to go with Italian. Oh. Uh, yeah. Don't yeah, sound so that. unsure. That's a very that sexy, sexy language. Yeah, they this, so. Have they cleared the board? Or will the voice actors have a chance to steal? My heart is beating. Show me <laughs> Italian. Mamma mia. Yes! Oh, they have cleared the board. Well and what does that give us for points? Not enough. 195. Oh. What a close game. Oh Y'all, that means our Ruby voice actors have won. What a close game. But we have no losers here. Point split. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one time for all of our players, our cosplayers, and our winners, of course, our voice actors. Now